So I have been waiting and waiting for this moment, literally waiting for this moment. And so what I'm about to unbox finally just came from Sweetwater and it's the Native Instruments Complete Control S88 Mark II, which you can probably tell from the title. So without any further delay, let's just crack this thing open. Sweetwater always sends you nice uh, candy and nice big catalog, so I buy more stuff than I always do. Some nice bubble wrap. Sweetwater always does a great job with uh, packing up gear, especially when you buy this expensive gear. Whew. All right, so here it is, the Complete Control S88 Mark II. Now let's crack this guy open. All right, so it's packaged very, very nice and safe, which obviously you want when you buy a piece of equipment like this, but I mean, you can move this. I mean, this thing does not move around in the box, so bravo to Native Instruments for the pack job. First, we got this uh, USB cable. We have the power cable, which, and then if you live over in Europe or somewhere that uses the other plugs, they come with all the plugs, so that's very good. All right, and what's in here? Complete control setup, some nice stickers. I mean, do people use these stickers? I mean, what do you, I don't know. I don't, I don't ever use them. And now let's pull this bad boy out. one of those people that keep all the boxes for my gear and packaging for uh, being when I was in the military I would move a lot and so I wanted to be able to safely pack all my things so I even though I'm not active duty anymore I still have a habit of keeping all these things really Here it is. I've literally been waiting for this for so long. All right, what is up YouTube? So you just watched me unbox uh, my brand new piano. And like I said, I have been waiting for the 88 key version of this piano for, I don't know how long, ever since the 49, key and the 61 key versions came out. I've been checking and checking and just waiting and waiting for them to come out with the 88 key. And there were some threads on their website and a lot of people were like, well, I just don't know if they're ever gonna make it. Of course they're gonna make it. Uh, there's people like me out there that will just buy it uh, the day it comes out, but no, really. So really, ultimately it comes down to should you upgrade? Um, and again, me, I'm coming from the Mark I, the very first version. That made me switch from my Yamaha Motif XS8. That, up to that point, was the best uh, piano for me. And again, I'm not coming from a producer standpoint. I'm coming from a pianist or a dude that just loves to compose music. And so for me to make a switch from the Yamaha Motif was huge. And then when I saw how they've integrated the DAW into the Mark II versions, I almost bit off on a 61 key just for that just for that one reason, but I held out, I waited, and I was like a little kid in the candy store a few weeks ago when they ended up releasing an email saying that they were coming out with the 88 key version. I immediately called Sweetwater and uh, made the order, pre-ordered it. Unfortunately, I didn't get it until today on Saturday, but um, it's here and I'm super excited to tell you more about it and just uh, give my personal standpoint. But before I get into that, if you don't want to have to watch the whole video, my personal recommendation, even coming from Mark One, is yes, you should upgrade if you are looking for incredible DAW integration 
more functionality on your keyboard and a little bit better feel on the actual piano keys themselves. So the first thing we'll take a look at is just the side-by-side -side comparison here. So as you can see, they're the exact same size, which is good for someone like me who built my desk around the Mark I in order to have the pull-out function. Taking a look at the buttons and their overall layout, this is something I absolutely love about the new models with the browsing screens. It just increases my workflow dramatically. I love that they went back to the physical wheels uh, for the modulation, but then also give you the touch strip here. Now the next thing I took a look at was the actual feel of the piano keys side by side here. So as you can see, the Mark II is a little heavier feel. And then moving back up to the Mark I, I realized it was a lot less friction. They're much easier to press. So I like the increased feel of these piano keys on the Mark II. Lastly, kind of feeling onto the knobs here. Um, again, there's a little more uh, strength and durability in the Mark II's knobs. Moving up to the Mark I, I noticed they were a lot easier to turn. I like that the Mark II's knobs are a little harder to turn for that fine tuning, especially with the mixer function. And then the buttons feel a lot more like buttons, which I like, as opposed to the Mark I, they feel just very, very soft like pads. And that concludes my review of the Native Instruments Complete Control S88 Mark II. I hope you enjoyed it and I really look forward to creating some music and sharing it with you.